once again, I'm back with the third part of our fun-filled chapter, The Shadow Story to Galu. Kids, time now for another exercise and this time with patterns. Yes, we are going to make designs by stamping objects having different shapes like a bottle cap, eraser, pencil, coin, etc. You can have anything you feel like. But right now, I am using one of these shapes. And which one? I'll tell you. First of all, I am going to take a white sheet of paper. So, here I have a paper. And I have taken this sheet for the stamping purpose. I also have few objects in front of me. I have a sharpener, I have a pencil, I have an eraser and I also have a coin. So which one should I use? It's tricky but I have to decide shortly. Okay, let me take a sharpener. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to color the sides and edges of the sharpener and then I'm gonna stamp it on the paper like this. Let's see how it's going to appear. So I have colors in front of me and I am going to choose, by the way, which one is your favorite color? What did you say? Red? Okay, let me choose red for you. And I have this very little cute brush as well. So I'm going to dip my brush in this red color and I'm going to put this red color on the sharpener, basically on the edges and sides of a sharpener. You have to apply the color liberally, okay? Because we need to get the stamp right. Okay, I think it's done. Now I'm going to try it. Let's see what we are going to get. So I have stamped it like this. And now I am pressing it with little bit of force so that I get a clear stamp. Now I have to remove it with a jerk. And see, I have got the right stamp. It looks lovely and it appears perfect. It was super exciting, isn't it so? Similarly, you can see the impressions of various objects on your screen. Yes, we have prepared something for you. And here we go. Kids, now I'm going to share something really interesting with you. You know what? Radha is applying mehendi on her hands. You can also trace your hand to make a mehendi pattern or design. Well, I have learned a lot from Radha and I'm also going to make you learn the same. And how? See? I have a mehendi cone with me and I'm going to apply mehendi on my hands. So, come. Follow me. I'm going to put mehendi on my hand. I'm using this cone and I'm going to make a shape. You can identify the shapes also kids because you have learned about the shapes. And now I'm filling this circle with mehendi. This has now become a mehendi filled circle. Now I'm going to put small dots, yes, mehendi dots around this big circle because I told you that I will make you learn a pattern. See this beautiful design that I've created so far? But before you set your eyes on the screen, have a look at my hand. See the design? How it appears? Isn't it beautiful? And you can continue making a beautiful pattern after this. 
Now look at the screen and see how it turns out to be. You will be amazed to see the beauty of it. Here we go. kids time for another exercise you know what nitya is playing with leaves and making patterns see the one on your screen how beautiful it looks and now i'm going to make a pattern using a leaf i'm going to paint it red and make a beautiful one for you i have few leaves with me and i have already plucked some for my convenience so let me pick one leaf and i've chosen this one now i'm going to paint it red since red is my favorite color let me put the paint on the leaf generously because i need the right impression the correct impression of the leaf on this white sheet of paper so that i can make a beautiful pattern as i have promised you can also do it with me and you can choose the color of your choice now the leaf is ready i have painted it nicely and now i am putting it on this white sheet of paper i am pressing the leaf a bit so that the paper gets a good impression of it okay and now i am going to lift it slowly and see well do not worry about the white spaces in the middle we will cover it with red in the end keep on making the pattern again color the leaf generously as i told you and it's almost done you can use any color of your choice this time i'm going to put the leaf like this downwards again press it and lift it gently because i have to make a pattern using the leaf four times so i am coloring it again you know what you can also do some variations in it you can add a different color each time but make sure you use a different leaf as well So now I have painted the leaf red and I'm going to put it like this. See it's very easy, okay? Again, press it. Lift the leaf gently. See? I've got this pattern. It may not be very clear right now, but I'm sure you can do it well. And as I told you, Do not worry about the white spaces. We will fix it. This is going to be the last pattern in this shape. Okay? The pattern of painting the leaf and fixing it like this on the paper. Again press it. remove the leaf gently it's almost ready and now as i promised i will fix the white spaces so you can fill the red color in it do it neatly because you are very good at drawing i may not that be good but at least i'm trying for you and Isn't it good to 
just try without worrying about the outcome because whatever you do sincerely turns out to be good. And it's almost there, almost. So to make it even more beautiful, I'm using this very pretty little flower, keeping it here at the center. And see, it's ready. You can continue with this pattern using the colors of your choice. And trust me, you are going to have super fun. So enjoy it with your friends and family and share the same with us. Happy drawing!